winning the world, you know? How, what all you did to win the world. I can see a lot of parallels in, in Pele because... Yeah, that's why I asked you the question. Many parallels. I was... Um, my father, when he was about to make it, in the, in the, he was helping all other people. When he was about to make independently, he died. At probably one of the biggest releases he had, the same day he died. And very similar, you know, if you see, the, watch the movie, his father was an aspiring, you know, soccer player, but then he could never make it. And his seed of, of aspiration which he sowed made Pele, I would say his blessing kind of made him a huge superstar. And uh, very similar to my story. So it is actually a lesson for every aspiring father who never made it. The kids will make it. So be firm and believe in the Almighty and make them, uh, encourage them and then give them all your blessing. Well said. Uh, Raman sir, in personally, which game, which is your favorite game in personally? Oh, God. <laughs> um, now, this, this is a trick question because I'm doing Sachin's movie also. <laughs> I think sports is a very, generally sports, soccer, baseball, football, basketball, cricket, all of them have a kind of, it's unifying people in a way. You know, that's one thing which people can share between, there's no things dividing them. Of course, countries maybe, but at least in a country, it unifies people. So I th I like the whole sports thing. I'm, so I'm probably going to be a, going to go into sports just because of physical fitness and the excitement. Uh, Raman sir, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, there is a, a one... Uh, there is a one line uh, behind, uh, behind the word, uh, birth of a legend. So my question is, yeah, um, uh, after reaching such a great uh, achievement in your life and uh, receiving number of awards and uh, Oscar, uh, do you feel you are you are a legend now? <laughs> I don't feel anything. I want to be. Whenever I, I tell my people, don't keep any awards in front of me, that will slow me down and it's a baggage on my back. I want to be like I'm born today, and I want to achieve. I want to learn, and uh, that's so important for us. The moment you feel like, oh, somebody falls on your feet and give me Ashirwad, then I feel like, oh my God, I go to the uncle's status. No, not that it's a bad thing. <laughs> so I keep avoiding that. I keep, uh, I want to be in a space where I can discover. I, w I want to be like a child who was discovering things every day. Hello, I think Mr. Raman. A lot of people differ because a lot of people in India think you are the Indian living legend. Let them so think, that's fine. People, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think like that. He, he, he was asking, he was, the question was, do you think you're a legend? Yeah, yeah. But, but so. Mr. Rahman, you yourself said two young kids who directed this. I wanted to tell you you're also extremely young yourself. Okay, so. thank you. <laughs> yeah. sorry, Hello, sorry, Mr. You Rahman. Here, to straight. Here, here, here. Yeah. What kind of difference you find in the filmmakers of the, uh, Hollywood and Bollywood? What kind of demands they keep it in front of you? I think, in a way, Indian filmmakers are blessed. <laughs> There's not much of interference. They have so much of liberty, and especially directors. You go to Hollywood and they'll know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> there are mafias question. controlling everything. <laughs> <laughs> one more question. You said you are born with a lot of contracts in Western. So how much time you gave it to the Indian filmmakers? Like how much they have to wait? How many months or something? I don't get it. What do you say? Contract. You are born with a contract in the West, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, take, uh, you take only one project at a time. So yeah. how long the Indian filmmakers has to wait for you? The whole system is different here. The system is... Uh, once they have the murad, we give a couple of songs and they go and shoot and come back. Give me the next two songs, okay, then they go and shoot and come back. This is how 25 years I've been doing music like that. So in a way, it's a cyclic thing. So one, two songs for one movie, they go for shooting. Next filmmaker simultaneously comes. After they go, I do the two songs. And then the, the problem would be background scores. And they all come at the same time. We were all, uh, we were all releasing on Diwali, so can you... <coughs> that's when you're jacked. <laughs> I just did a documentary uh, last year called Jeho, and, and I think it was the most boring film. <laughs> Rayman sir, good yeah. afternoon. This is Suhas from radiantmusic.com. Uh, so, firstly, I want to know, even I'm going to be greedy and ask you two questions. Uh, firstly, I want to know, sir, were there any particular instructions given to ensure that there's a lot of Brazilian local sound in your, in your soundtrack <coughs> for the movie? Uh, and, and second question is, how different is your approach when it comes to making a movie on a musician, let's say a rock star, 
compared to a movie uh, on a music on a on a on a sports pro sports player like Pele or Tendulkar? I think if you take the spirit of music. And, and spirit is a very common word, I would say, this, that finds a commonality. Uh, the other stuff has to come in f from research, and it has to, it, you have to internalize it for a long, long time. So I've listened to lots of uh, Brazilian music artists on YouTube, and then the directors, we were jamming on it. But they were very keen that I should not lose the identity of myself in this. So we had Brazilian music, but the identity of what I would do or what I've done in the past, has to, the stamp has to be there. And that's what people feel. And I'm really moved by that comment. Uh, hi, Ki, uh, what do you think about when we, uh, when we make movies in India, like any biopic, we tend to fictionalize things. Uh, we, we, uh, everything is not like, uh, uh, like factual. And uh, we glorify things. Cinematic and liberties could be taken because otherwise it will be a very boring movie. I've seen many boring movies, some very factual, and so why waste people time? But it should not distort the the purity of the character. I would say. Uh, what do you think about when uh, ho uh, movies in Hollywood and Western countries are made? Uh, 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 is there if if any kind of biopic is made, they don't distort things in comparison when we make movies in India. Like not true. Because I know that even 127 hours, there were scenes added to, it is a, it's an original story, right? Uh, there were scenes added to make it more exciting, which was not there in the real thing. And as long as you're true to the character and you're honest to, um, to the source, I guess it's allowed. Thank you. Rahman, sir, yeah. here. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Um, in our question, one thing, first, Romba, Romba Sandosho, Ninga, Roja Land, the start, I, Ipri or international level, Kupir King. Yeah, I want to do it, but what happens is my album, I'm the producer. So my constant loyalty goes to people who are waiting for songs. Okay. So it never gets made. Okay. Three albums which I started, never made it. But I, I thank you for that, reminding me, and I hope it'll happen. Keep we, praying for it. We <laughs> wish uh, here, Prabhat from ANI, sir, this side. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sir, the, the film is based on a sports legend, and uh, you know, Rio Olympics is coming, and recently Salman was uh, considered as a brand ambassador for Rio Olympics. People from the entertainment industry, given you know the face, being the face of a uh, sporting events like Rio Olympics, how practical, how genuine it in your terms? What is the perspective? Salman being the brand ambassador, Salman being face of the Rio Olympics. Yeah. How yeah. genuine and practical it is for? I think he's a very popular face. Why not? <laughs> and um, but s still, there are many sports personality and many legends. I mean, Jeev Milka Singh is there, Sunil Gavaskar is there. Why not a sports personality? Very for true. Uh, good question. Not ask me. You ask the <laughs> board. <laughs> <laughs> but they they're doing both. They've got Mr. Bindra as well, the shooter. He's also a big brand ambassador. And Salman Khan, as uh, Mr. Rahman rightly Sachin said. Khan, okay. Sachin has been a brand ambassador. I mean, a lot of sports people have been at the forefront, but uh, uh, absolutely nothing wrong with an entertainment professional uh, who's recognized by so many people in this country becoming a brand ambassador. Absolutely nothing wrong with Actually, perhaps the press should help in making the sports person bigger stars than Bollywood stars. Maybe then you would have a sports person as a brand ambassador. It's all up to you. I, I Levan, sir, yeah, question. my question uh, is Levan, sir. Uh, I just, yeah, you're over here. I saw the trailer, uh, as Bansi also told that, that she got goose uh, skin, same year. You were telling about that the movies, um, more you will cry in the when you'll see the movie. Can you just elaborate that what exactly is going to be there? If you take this movie, it's not just about sports. It's not about a sports star. It's about uh, human will and aspirations. So you can, if you take the sports out of it, it's a common story. It's what Indians would think. It's so international in that level. <coughs> And uh, another important point I would say is how we're all sheeps. We, we go to an institution, we learn, and they tell you this is how you should do it. And they force you to do that you know, in any art, whether it's music or sports, this is how we should play, this is wrong, this is right. So if you have the confidence that you have an ESP, you have a it factor which nobody knows, only you know, then you should go ahead and do that. It's all about success. It's all about proving at a point where you can do it. And uh, that's what I learned from this movie. Be yourself. 
people will come and distort you, tell you, no, oh, this is wrong, this can't be done, this can't be done. And he's, he's done it. He's done it again and again and again. That's what makes him fellay. <laughs> but that's beautiful. People try, try to distort you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you must stay. So the last two questions, please, uh, this afternoon. Raman sir, quite, quite a few years ago, you had said that you are a last minute person because uh, then you don't procrastinate. Uh, is it still the same or has it changed? No, I keep, I shift the deadlines to everyone. <laughs> now I'm a little more smart. So if the deadline is 15th, I'll say 11th, we have to deliver this to myself. And they know that I'm cheating. <laughs> All right, our last question yes. for this afternoon. Mr. Right, Raman, second. I believe even you were approached to be a goodwill ambassador for the Rio Olympics. Is that true? I heard it from the press, but nobody, uh, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> it was all over the press on Google News, but I didn't get any email yet. Uh, maybe my, my management knows, I don't know. So are you still 2 a.m. person for recording? and? Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you so ladies much. and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Please give it up for uh, Mr. Rahman and Thank all you. the very best for the success of the film. Absolutely. Why don't we show it once the pictures are done? We look forward to having all of you at uh, the premiere tonight at Sunny Super San Juhu at 8 p.m. We have snacks for all of you outside. Uh, thank you all for being here this afternoon.